following interview was conducted with Kanu Gulati, president of Alpha Phi Omega for the Purdue University Oral History Program. It took place on Friday, April the 8th, 2011 in Stewart Center. The interviewer is Catherine Marquis, the oral history librarian. Kanu, good afternoon and thank you good very afternoon. much. Thank okay. You. Let's start out, tell us a little about where you were born and your parents and siblings in early years. Well, sure. Um, I was actually born um, in India. Okay. Um, in Where New Delhi. in India? In New Delhi. Okay. Um, and I moved here when I was about four. Um, so um, we lived in Illinois for about a year, and then I've actually been in the West Lafayette area ever since. Um, so you're born and raised in West Lafayette? Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, and um, my parents were also born in India. Um, I have one older brother, and he's like about five years older than me. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. What award does he do? Where is, did he come to Purdue? Yeah, he was actually a Purdue graduate, and um, right now he works um, for Bank of America um, in Chicago. Oh, very good. Okay, where did you go to grade school? And then tell us about grade school and high school. Oh, sure. Um, I went to Klondike um, Elementary and Middle School, and then I went to Harrison High School. What about what, any student organizations, or what was it like? Um, in um, elementary and uh, middle school, um, there was like an honors organization. Um, I was in that. Um, but there weren't too many other organizations, you know, when you're so young. Um, but in high school, um, I was in the honors organization there, and um, I was um, a writer, um, and then later the editor of my high school newspaper. Um, and How'd you like that? It was a lot of fun. I really enjoy kind of like writing um, just for fun and, you know, new stories and reporting. Sure. And it's, a, it's very interesting. So I really enjoyed that. Um, I would definitely say I enjoyed writing a little bit more than um, being the editor just because, you know, you have less material to write with. Usually you just kind of put everything together. But, I mean, it was still... Um, a lot of fun. And then um, I was also in Kiet's um, and Key Club, and they were both um, service-based organizations. What think, do the things in the community or what? Yeah, what? it was just kind of, um, you know, trying to help out where you can um, with just some community organizations and things like that. Yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> now, how did you decide to come to Purdue? I know it's down the street. Right. right? <laughs> um, actually, when I was first applying to schools, um, I wasn't um, too interested in coming to Purdue. Um, just because, you know, I was like, well, I've been here for so long, and I kind of wanted to go somewhere else. Um, but then I kind of started to look at, you know, what I actually wanted to do for a major and, um, you know, the cost of, you know, college and things like that. And um, I like Purdue's um, – my major is um, health sciences, so I like Purdue's department in that. Um, and it just seemed like a good fit, and um, it was just – I was also getting a scholarship for coming here, so that kind of motiva motivated me a little bit. So. Right. Okay. <laughs> Have you been living on campus while you've been here? Yes. Okay. Where'd you, did you come for Boiler Gold Fresh too? Yes, I was, did, did BGR. Okay. <laughs> um, tell us a little about your major and campus life, and then talk about the, your year as the president of Alpha Phi Omega, and you might want to tell the researchers – what the nature of the organization is as well. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. um, well, my major is um, general health, health sciences with uh, pre-med concentration. Um, my first year here, I lived um, in the dorms at Hilltop. And then um, ever since, I've been um, at an apartment on Grant Street. And um, I love campus life, even though, you know, I've lived in the community for so long. Campus life is completely different. It's like its own little world. And even when I was in high school, I didn't come to campus too often at all. Um, so coming to campus has been really a great experience Almost for like me. A new, new world. Yeah, it is. It's just a completely new world. You know, everyone expected that I would know where everything is and I would know everything about campus life. And I was just as clueless as everybody else coming in, <laughs> even though I lived in the community, um, just because sure. they're two completely separate things. Right. And um, I'm really glad that I chose to stay on campus because, I mean, uh, my parents do live only like 15, 20 minutes sure. off campus, so it would have been convenient to stay there, but um, I wanted to get the entire college experience, so I'm really glad that I did that. Yeah. Were there any, are there any other clubs that you were in? And then also, how did you get involved in this association? Um, I am um, a member of the Kadoshis Club. It's like a pre-med organization. Okay. And, do you think, are you um, planning to go to med school? Yes, that is the plan, <laughs> hopefully. Okay. Um, but I got involved in Alpha Phi Omega my first semester um, of my freshman year, 
And um, actually one of my really good friends from high school who was my roommate at the time, um, she had heard about it through one of her siblings that had been in it and she asked me to go to a call out with her and I wasn't really sure what it was about because you know I just heard Alpha Phi Omega fraternity I didn't realize that it was a service organization or anything like that but when I went and I heard you know the information that they had to present us I was pretty much hooked so right. okay well, let's talk about that but tell start by telling about the organization what the nature of it is and okay um, Alpha Phi Omega is um, a national co-ed service fraternity it's like I believe the um, largest collegiate fraternity in the country. Um, so it's very service-based. Um, it has three cardinal principles, leadership, friendship, and service, which it's basically founded on those. Um, and it's also founded with some principles in Boy Scouts. Um, so that's how um, I got started, and I pledged when I was um, a freshman. And I've done a couple of positions um, within the organization, and currently I'm the president. So. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. Now, what are some of the challenges and issues and programs that you've taken on this year? Um, this year, I would say um, our big thing is trying to just um, do a lot of transition work. We didn't really have a lot of good transition work within our organization between officers and between pledges and actives. Um, so this semester, myself and um, another member who's on our executive board, um, we made basically what is called like an active packet. Um, our active members are called actives. And it just had like everything you need to know basically about being a member because I feel like, um, at least in our organization, when we have um, pledges when they're done, you know, right after that they become active members, but we have usually like a big drop off, um, and I feel like that transition is really shaky, so we just kind of wanted to give them like a big um, just packet of information and just present it to them, and um, I really enjoyed making it. Um, just because, you know, when you've been in an organization so long, it's just fun to see how much you know. Um, and I've had a couple people say that they really like the packet and it's helped them. So um, that was probably the first thing, um, new thing that we did this semester. And um, another event that we're doing, which is actually on Saturday, um, it's called uh, The Smoker. It used to be a rush event that we used to do um, way back, like 30, 40 years ago, I believe. And we haven't done it um, since. And... Um, it's supposed to be like just a big event with um, leadership development games, um, you know, some fellowship, um, and doing obviously some service. So we're actually doing that this Saturday um, at Mayflower Mill Elementary. We're going to go there. We're just going to have some leadership development games. Um, we're working with some Boy Scouts actually, and we're going to be mulching the school and just helping out with some um, labor and things like that. And I, there's about 75 members from our organization and 30 Boy Scouts, so it should be a really big um, event. That's a big group. <laughs> and I'm really excited. And another reason for wanting to do it is we wanted to have like a big event where we could have some of our alumni come back and um, you know still reconnect with us um, alumni relations has been something that we haven't been the best at so I'm hoping that this is like the start of um, still connecting with alumni because I mean I know I'll be graduating in a year so I hope to still be associated sure. with um, APO when I leave <laughs> right exactly okay um, leadership your thoughts on the leaders role in academia and the career world um, well, I definitely think um, academics comes first, um, definitely. I don't think you can let any organization be, um, you know, your life or anything like that. I think school always comes first. Um, but I think it's really important to, um, you know, join an organization and get involved in whatever way you can. If you don't have time, you know, to be president or to, you know, be on the executive board or whatever, just any sort of leadership position you can get within an organization, I think it's completely invaluable just because um, you get to lead your peers, which is great because it helps you learn how to work with people who are in a similar circumstance like you. And I think that will help you so much in the career world um, because you'll have a variety of people, people that you've never met, um, you know, different backgrounds. And um, I feel like APO has taught me how to connect with people like that and just, you know, how to um, get people to work towards a task, which I think is great because um, in APO we have people of all different majors all different cultures. Um, What's this about the size of your organization? And do you have a limit on how many can pledge? Or we don't goes? have any sort of limit. Okay. Um, we don't do any bids or anything like that. If okay. you want to be a part of our organization, um, we welcome you. No discrimination you at all. Yeah, we have multiple call-outs. We have 
Um, it depends on the semester, but we usually have between three to five, and then we also have between three to five rush events, which are just like you know fun events, like um, you know game night or something like that. Sure. Um, um, but yeah, we don't have any limit. We just welcome everybody. You just have to. Um, our pledge program usually consists of completing a number of service projects that our organization sets up. Um, so um, that, those are basically most of the requirements for the program. But right now we have around 100 active members and um, around 30 pledges. Very good. That's a big group. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, leadership classes. You going to have begun the president's roundtable? Yes. Okay. Um, I've gone to president's roundtable. Um, I've um, also a committee member on FISBIT uh, for small but important things. Um, and I've been to some of the leadership um, opportunities that Purdue's offered. Um, and I've taken an OLS class. <laughs> I'm not sure how much that ties into sure, that. That's, but, well, yeah. that's very important. <laughs> it, all, it all works out. Yeah, it's that's out. very true. Okay. How about hobbies or special interests, Kenny? How would you like to share with us? Um, I really like to play games. I'm, I love card games, board games, any kind of games. Um, I'm also really interested in playing the guitar. I just kind of started, so I play a little bit of the electric guitar. Um, and a big fan of sports, like anything associated with sports, watching sports, playing sports. I, I like to. We think alike. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm, and I'm a big Purdue fan. Like all Purdue sports, I'm crazy about. So <laughs> that's okay. We need that. Uh, Purdue tradition. Do you have one tradition such as well? Sometimes people think of the Boilermaker Special or uh -huh. just football or whatever. Do you have one that you care to share with us? Um, or the fountain run is another oh. <laughs> one sometimes, you know. Yeah, that's. I think that's the first Purdue tradition I ever did was um, during BGR. Um, we did that. Um, and then I think um, another one of the big um, things is at least we tried to make this a tradition um, with APOs trying to get like a couple of us to go to um, football games or just games together in general and just um, kind of like support athletics because I think a lot of people in our organization really like athletics yes. like that. Sounds good. Okay. How about an outstanding event? Did it come to mind? An outstanding event um, that APO has sponsored? Could be anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be Purdue related. Anything that comes to mind. Oh, wow. Um, an outstanding event. It could be APO, whatever you think. APO. Um, oh, this is a tough one. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I guess um, the thing that I really enjoy is um, an aspect um, through APO is we have something um, that's just specifically for the pledge class. It's called um, an event called Gathering, Uniting, and Strengthening. Um, but it's supposed to be just kind of a fun event. And it's where basically the pledges come into our office at one night and they kind of prank the office and the actives get to see it the next morning. And um, before I was in the organization, um, there were some, like, it's called Gus. So, you know. um, yeah, but um, before I pledged, um, there were some pledge class which they didn't have the nicest guests, you know, they're, I mean, you always have to clean it up um, 24 hours after you do it, but um, I really like the fact that it's kind of turned towards being a lot, um, I guess, more wholesome and more nice towards the actives, and um, I feel like my pledge class may have started that, because when we did it, we took out everything in the office, all of the furniture, everything, and we just made like a giant picnic for all of our actives, and um, so this semester, what they did was they did something similar, but they had like like cookies and like cotton candy everywhere in our entire office and they had like little um, scrabble boards like drawn on our tables like on the cloth and um, they had like little cookie pieces where you could like you know play scrabble sure, sure. and so um, I mean it's a very small event but um, I think it allows it, creativity yeah it really does and I think it just brings like the pledge class together and um, I've been to a couple one when I pledged one when I was a pledge trainer assistant, and then one when I was a pledge trainer, and those have probably, I, like, I remember every one of them, I've been to every one of them, and those are probably one of my most memorable times with the pledge program. Oh, that sounds <laughs> good, okay. Now the next stage, you're not graduating now, but tell us what mm -hmm. your thoughts, are, and also what your summer plans are gonna be. Um, this summer, I will actually be taking classes here and um, studying because I have to take the MCATs in preparation um, for med school, and I'll also be in the process of applying. Okay. Um, so I'll be graduating um, next May 
Um, so it's just kind of preparing to, you know, getting applications ready and things like that. Yeah, you're hoping to go to med school. <laughs> yes. Do you have any specialty that you that you think you'd like to go into? Um, I'm not completely sure. I've always been really interested in neurology, um, so that's something I've always kind of, um, you know, it's always in the back of my mind, maybe something I'd be interested in. But I would really be open to anything, um, just trying to see what I like. And maybe even surgery, maybe go that route, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> uh, are you applying for uh, just at IU or? Uh, other schools well. oh I will definitely try to apply to other schools um, but I will go to whichever school takes me because I know it's very competitive and I know regardless of what school you get into it's a good school right. um, any med program is a great program so I will go anywhere that accepts me <laughs> <laughs> okay doc I think it covers most but anything that I okay. forgot to ask or anything you'd like to say in closing um I don't think so I just appreciate um, you having me come in this has been fun <laughs> well I really enjoy it thank you very yes, much thank That's you very, I brought a